Yeah, so I, like I said, grew up in Weatherford. Uh, my mom was a school teacher for just a minute, and then as soon as she got pregnant with my sister, she um, stayed at home with, with both of us. And my mom, my dad was in life insurance whenever I was just um, really young, started his own life insurance company out in Weatherford, um, and then did that for... I don't know, 12-ish years, and decided to just completely um, do a 180, and he opened Alfredo's Mexican Cafe in Weatherford whenever I was in eighth grade, um, and still maintained his, his um, insurance company as well, And um, but yeah, opened Alfredo's in Weatherford, and then went on to open three more. So, okay. so do you grow up in the example. restaurant as well? Yeah. I mean, so it's funny. My sister grew up waiting tables on um, during summers, and I always refused to, to, you know, be a part of the family business. I was a lifeguard or, you know, babysat or whatever. And then I graduated, high, I graduated college and was the one that jumped in and um, went full-time in the restaurants with my dad and Kelly and did the catering for 14 years yeah. for Alfredo's, so... Wow, that's yeah. awesome. I did not expect you to say that. And then my yeah. sister went on to be a therapist, so she had nothing to do with him after that, and I was the one that refused. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'll never. But now you're all, you're it was great. Yeah. yeah. Kelly, what about you? Uh, my dad was a Church of Christ preacher um, at a church in Edmond. Uh, went to Oklahoma Christian and then thought I was going to go to law school. Okay. Uh, did the LSAT, did all that. Thought we were going to move to Alabama mm -hmm. when we first got married. Um, and then got talked into coming on in the restaurant business in Alfredo's Moore back in 2006 mm -hmm. um, and fell in love with it. I, I, we loved it. Uh, we did that for about 11 years, eh, 10, 11 years until we branched out. We opened up three other Alfredo's and then we kind of got to the age where like, if we want to grow our business, it's time. Sure. And so then we got in with the Fuzzies group and opened up um, three of those. Mm -hmm. um, and then that also went into Cycle Bar that same year with Fuzzies, wasn't it? 2017? Yeah, so we bought, um, we ended up buying Cycle Bar in 2015. Uh -huh. um, and then it took two years to open Cycle Bar Class and Curve over here. We opened in 2017. And then I think in 2016 is whenever you joined the um, social order to do fuzzies and opened also in 2017. Mm -hmm. So yes. we're crazy. We, everything we do falls, comes all at the same time. It continues to do so yeah. to this day. So, um, yeah, opened cycle bar and jumped into fitness and loved it. And, and yeah. cycle bar loved was, uh, it. was great. We went over to the class and curve, which was a great location for us. It was like the premier, it still is the premier shopping area of, mm -hmm. of Oklahoma City. And it, it's been very good to us for the last, what, yeah. seven years? Yeah, I mean, I bought in 2015 and said, like, look, I'm doing this only if I can open in Class and Curve. That was the yeah. only location I wanted. I knew as soon as we bought it, we're exactly where I wanted to go. I didn't look anywhere else. I went straight to them um, and secured a spot pretty quickly. Yeah. Still took two years to open just because construction and all of that, but loved fitness loved it um it was completely different from restaurants we still are in restaurants love them it's a grind um mm -hmm. fitness is too though but um it's a different grind and people are so happy to come in and you know they're choosing to be there and um we loved it so much we chose to expand in fitness as well and did exactly that mm -hmm.